Hello my YouTube friends, this is Gladys from uh, Gladys Garden and today um, I'm going to do a quick tutorial maybe it's not that quick but hopefully I can get away with uh, two parts I am trying to make um, an altar bottle I've had this bottle for a while and um, I really like the shape and I'm, I think I can turn it into something very cute and very decorative it's going to be kind of a French shabby chic look and I'll tell you the things that we are going to be using today so obviously we need to have a bottle of your choice um, the only thing I did on the bottle was to um, give me just a second here let me turn off the heater it's making just too much noise um, as I was saying for the bottle I'm not even going to take this label here because we are not going to see it this time. Any other times I will, I would uh, peel them off if I am going to work with something that is very sheer and something that is very translucent. But in this case we're going to cover the whole thing completely with a um, mix that I have here that um, I will tell you what I put in it. So the only thing I did after I had a friend of mine give this to me. Um, what this is, I don't even know what it is, but anyhow, um, I loved it, I love square, I love kind of, um, I don't know, symmetrical things, or, um, anyhow, this is a um, square bottle, and all I did was wash it inside, so I didn't have that smell, this is kind of, um, I think she had it open for a while, so it didn't smell too, too much, but I could still sense a little bit, so I just washed it inside really well, and I make sure it's dry, even though it might have a little drop here and there, but we're not going to use the inside. The only time that I'm very careful uh, removing labels, it's when I am going to put like messages into the bottle, and so I, you know, the purpose of the, that message in the bottle is for you to see it. So that's the only time that I would take this off. <clears throat> but at today we're not doing that, so it doesn't really matter. But I did wash it really well, and um, and you know hopefully hopefully it'll dry on the inside. But it's the outside that we are really going to be working on. For this uh, tutorial or this um, altar bottle, you are going to need some muslin uh, materials, or maybe an old sheet, an old pillow, anything. I kind of save remnants for just about anything, you know, when uh, when one of my quilts is going too old or one of my, you know, sheets or anything like that, I save them, especially if they're kind of grinchy or, you know, they're the off-white color. You can use them um, in a lot of uh, projects. This one in particular, uh, particular, it is, I think it is 600 thread cotton, so it's really good quality. So I wasn't going to throw this away um, at all. So you're going to need this. Um, so you're trying to measure a piece that would go just about all around it, the bottle. So that depends on the bottle that you may be using. So it's a muslin material. I have a little bit extra here because I'm going to be tearing some parts of it uh, for the lid here. Um, maybe two kinds of laces of your choice this is regular I think this is French lace and this is um, I I'm not even sure if this is homemade It's very old but it's just pieces of it because I've used it in so many other things already uh, but I'm just going to use a little bit of it this time the other thing that you might like to use would be cheesecloth um, you can find this in your local grocery store um, you can order them online they're not expensive and usually you get I don't know like a yard to two yards if it's at a grocery store so and that lasts a long time because it's not like you're going to be pasting you know all your projects with it's just you, you need little pieces here and there this is the piece I have here so I'm not going to use this whole thing um, just part of it okay and then lastly but not uh, not not uh, least is this paste that I have here I don't know if you can see it there this is my homemade um, texture paste basically um, and I'll tell you what I've used in it it's wonderful so if you want to write this down I use one part cornstarch one part white paint acid free obviously if you can get away with it if not just make sure that you label your jar that this is not acid free you can use it for altering other things where there's not going to be photographs right next to it um, and then half a part of white glue like Elmer's glue 
and obviously that is not acid free uh, but for this project that we're making I don't really care it's not a personal picture or anything like that I want the texture in this case so I use Elmer's glue in this case half a part to it um, but you can have for instance there's a scotch uh, quick dry glue white glue that is acid free highly expensive so I don't make a lot at a time I think I make this is what is this I think this is a pint or a quart I don't even know but I made half of it right here and it goes a long way um, very um, it's very efficient the only problem with this is it doesn't dry really really fast but it beats going to the store and buying like a four ounce in a container for ten bucks so in my opinion this is well worth it and if I'm not in a hurry for my project this is you know my way to go for my classes if I'm going to be you know having a class that uses some of some of this uh, texture plate or requires a test texture plate a uh, texture um, I, don't know, anyway, I can't even remember <clears throat> I'm having issues talking tonight anyhow uh, I'll go ahead and use uh, the acid free glue for them and you know I'm I'll give this recipe to any anyone that uh, would like to use it I've been using it for a while love it it works really well I usually do accelerate the process by using the heat gun um, but it, you can have some bubbles if you're not careful so just kinda you know just move your heat gun all over it so you don't uh, um, bubble up your paint but then you know in other experiments that I've done too when the when the paint just starts to bubble it kinda looks cool too so you know try it so again let me give you those measurements one part cornstarch one part white paint acid free and if you don't care about being acid free then any white paint will do um, acrylic obviously and half a part of white glue so you just mix them really well make sure there's no bubbles that all the powder from the bottom um, um, is taken if you don't have cornstarch at a time and you happen to have baby powder at hand that works really well too instead of the cornstarch so either one would work I use just plain cornstarch I don't like the perfumes and all that good stuff so anyhow that's what you will uh, be using for this project so let's commence oh and I forgot to say we need some gloves because we're gonna get the tea today alrighty then so I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves actually before I do that since my um, this is not it since my bottle you know even though it's, it is you know, sort of square but it does have this concave areas right here I don't want to create a pleat on it so I'm actually taking a little I'm snipping at the material just like what you, you would do you know if you were sewing and you know putting a sleeve on a dress I don't know if you're a seamstress or not but that's usually what we do I mean I don't sew that often but I do know that much um, so I'm cutting those pieces right there so as I bend the material either up or down it's not going to create a, a crease and um, or bulkage in there so I'm going to do that for that in, on both ends I gotta watch my time you know YouTube doesn't let me it hasn't given me the the 15 minutes upgrade yet has any of you um, had it um, I believe it was in November that they said that they were going to start doing that but obviously I don't have it because I have a heck of a time yesterday when I was trying to load up a video that was 13 minutes it was cutting it to I don't know like a minute and some and I thought to myself well why don't you just cut it to 10 no I was just having issues okay so there's my material you can kind of see you know how it looks and an example of this let me try to see if I can get into focus there so this is ba basically what we're going to do just put it this way it's going to go all the way this way don't worry about if it's you know too big or it doesn't go all the way to the bottom this has a lot of white paint and we're going to be covering this puppy with everything we have um, I usually let's see I make it bigger than what it should be because I just want to make sure that there's a good um, you know that it ties in really well basically okay so I'll go ahead and um, 